okay good morning guys so today in this video completely i will explain english language and at the same time same video i will release telugu version also so english persons also can follow my youtube channel value learning youtube channel name is value learning so today topic is bias editing that is lenovo company laptop so one laptop i am getting the company name is lenovo and the model is just a minute so the model is g570 lenovo g570 so this is the schematic diagram and these are the bias programs what i am taking laptop from laptop so i am taking the backup file so these two are backup files and here this is the schematic but here two programs are available two bias programs are available so one is main bias ic main bias program that is called as pch bias and the second one is ec bias that means ec bias program so main bias program always mb so this is the 4mb and ec bias program is and 128 kb only so just i am opening schematic diagram in schematic diagram i observed how many ic's are available really two ic's or only one ic just to open the schematic diagram yes just to zoom it yeah now see here two bias ic's are available this is the one bias ic spi interface spi means that is the a pin bias ic and here also spi rom is available this one also a pin bias ic so here page number go to 41 so go to 41 yes i think yes. so this is the step down section go to black diagram 1 2 So I think they are not written clearly, guys. Here, so land. So they will written here bias. So hard days to drive a bias, right? Now see. Here is the bias. They are written here. Here there is no bias. Bias and EC I will port only. And the next one is yes. EC SPI ROM, right? Here is the. This is the 128 KB 8 pin bias IC. So this is the EC bias IC. Bias IC number is MX 25 L 2005. MX 25, MX 25 L was 1005 and one more bias IC. Just we check it and one more 8 pin bias IC. So this is the USB and this is the other. Okay, no problem. No need to see here. Okay, so another bias IC also available. so this is the battery connector charging section blah 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 so no problem yeah so here i am opening here in this laptop two bias ic's are available one is pch bias ic this one sorry this one pch bias ic and the second one is ec bias ic the pch bias ic program is 4mb and ec bias ic program is 2mb so today how to download lenovo g570 model program bias program from internet and by using these two backup files how to separate ec bias program and main bias program from from company website file that means main bias so first i am downloading the so first i am downloading Lenovo G570 BIOS program. Lenovo G570. Just type drivers. Lenovo G570 only. 
G570. So Lenovo website is coming. Go to this website. But here I am not downloading the drivers. Just I am downloading only BIOS file only. Manual, automatic, manual, select the drivers. So here drivers list is showing so many drivers. But I don't want any drivers. I want only BIOS program. In BIOS program, if we observe clearly, BIOS update here 6.9. Oh, and there is no download option. Here 32 bit, here 64 bit. Just I am downloading this one. Save as. Uh, just I am saved here. Save. This is 32 bit. As well as I am downloading 64 bit also. So I am downloading here 64 bit. Save as. Also. Oh, Okay, I am downloading here also 32 bit and 64 bit. Just to open the folder, yes, go to back. Yeah, so now this is the dot exe file. Now you can convert it to dot exe file. So for converting purpose, we have three methods. One is extract method. Second one is command method. Third one is tempo method. The previous videos, it is available how to convert that .exe file into ROM file or bin file. By using these three methods, you can observe the previous videos in my YouTube channel. Just first time applying, apply the extract method. So here extract option is available. Yes, one folder is created. Just here open and check it. Any BIOS program? Yeah, here is available. This is the BIOS program. And again, now I am extracting 64 also. Yes, completed. Again, one folder is created. Yes, 64. And here also BIOS program. Yeah, here is there. But if you observe clearly, PAWG2219. And 32 bit also, PAWG2219, same program only. The changes are the remaining files only, 32 or 64. But BIOS program is same for 32, 64. Just I am taking only one file. Right click, copy. You know what, here is this one. Yeah, go to this one. And I am pasting here. Right, perfect. The remaining you can delete it. So this one, this one, this one, sorry. This one, this one, everything I am deleting. So no need. Now, yes. So if you observe clearly, here total three files are available. This is the 128 KB EC by IC backup file, and this is the PCH by IC backup. Sorry, this one PCH by IC backup file. And this is the main original file I am downloading from company website. Now, if you have to clearly just to open the calculator, Windows R, just to open calculator. Right now, see here, this is the 128, 128 plus here 4096 KB. 4096 KB. Yeah, now see 4224, 4224. That means here EC BIOS program is available and PCH program is available. Combination of EC BIOS program and PCH both are available. But how to separate? How to separate EC BIOS program and PCH BIOS program from here? This is the very, very important topic. So for that purpose, I am using one software, the software named as, so the software named as Hexa Workshop Editor Software. So just to first to open the main BIOS program, what I am downloading from company website. Just right click, open Hexa Editor Workshop, 
now the file is open perfect and the next to second one is i am opening the 4mb right click so right 4mb i am opening 4mb also right click here yeah, now here two files are available go to window type tile vertical you now two files just after the starting 0000, 00 but if you observe clearly 16 dots z 16 dots z that means this is the intel mba reason file this is intel mba reason file but here 16 dots z is not available okay go to last go to last ending right and again go to ending yeah now see here plus is available here pa pa here board id 01433 01433 yes but 01433 this is the backup file 4 mb backup file this is the 4.2 mb original file now go to here just to type here this one right copy control c see so or else right click here here only right click copy just to select here control f control f always to select here hex values only always select hex value and paste here control v now see data also coming click on ok now it will show you where it is this one so just ok from here onwards now see downside exclamatory mark percentage has 0 exclamatory mark percentage has 0 now from here to downside the program is same now select some data just to move the cursor from ending and don't click it first shift after that click here now it is selected just cut it cut yes i am cutting the data yes now open the new window open new and paste here v yes now you can see the data starting data 16.z and ending data some pid 01433 what is the exact 0034fc something okay and go to here starting ending 0034fc 44 here four dots and here also four dots 0034 fc correct yes now save this one go to file save as so this is the 4 mb only then our g570 yes now here 4 mb edit sorry yeah 4 mb space edit i am editing yes save now the program is saved now close it now close the this one all right now again tile vertically yeah this 4 mb editing is completed now close this one next open 128k open next to 128kb where is the 128kb yes this one open 128kb same as windows tile vertically next to check observe the starting data observe starting data c yes 5 dots q 3 dots star u yes something blah 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 so the data is same now go to ending again go to ending i think something is wrong 4 mb edit just a minute I am checking. Yes, 16 dots. Get. Okay. Windows. Tile vertically. Yeah, now see here. So this is the original file, this one. So this is the original file. And this is the backup file. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. One last thing. Yeah, this is the original file and this is the backup file. Now original file it is available. What I am cutting here this one double zero four F and the last ending double zero one FFB double zero one FFB something okay. So the data here the starting also same and here also starting is same. So this is the Lenovo G five seventy. Lenovo G, okay, okay, no problem. So I am. If any doubts, so save change. Okay, P A W zero cancel. This one. If we click it, yeah, it will close. So that means, so not a new file. Open 128 KB. Yes, 128 KB. Windows file vertically. So when I am clicking, it is asking see closed. When I am clicking this one, it is asking save. That means this is the original bias program, but a last ending there is no Z. And maybe go to open. And the next one is yeah file vertically. So where it is Z? Here it is available. This is the backup file only. This is the backup file and this is the original file. So last ending five dots five 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 something is correct. Yes, that is not available. No problem. Just when I close this one, it is asking. That means this is the company website. The remaining data already four MB we had taken. Already four MB we had taken. Just one twenty eight KB and now save this one. Now select this one data. Control A. Kernel. Okay, no problem. Go to File. Save as. Save as. This is the 2 MB. Oh, sorry. 128 KB. 128 KB. Edit. And save. Yes. Now close everything. Here also close everything. Everything right now. See, this is the edit file. This is also edit file, and this one is original file, backup file. This is the backup. File. This is the after editing file. This is after editing 128 KB. This is the 128 KB, but backup file. This is the original 4.2 KB and 4.2 MB, and this is the 4 MB backup file. Now you can calculate this. So now I am separating. In customer laptop, I change. I, I, I can. I, I am doing bias flashing by using these two files. So this is the PC bias IC program, and this is the PC bias IC program. This is the process. How to separate? So PC bias IC program and EC bias IC program from company website. What I am downloading from company website. So thank you, thank you very much. If you have any previous uh, bias program, bias editing videos, go to YouTube channel. Value uh, the channel name is Value Learning. The channel name is Value Learning. Separate playlist is available. Playlist name is Bias Editing. So if you have any doubts, you can send me the WhatsApp. Thank you, thank you very much.